Hello teachers I am Neha Deshpande and today we will be talking about a lesson plan made by Mrs Mangal Adhav in collaboration with Aisar Pune Science Activity Center She has conducted this lesson in her classroom and shared her experiences with us We will also discuss those today This video focuses on the activity based teaching of complex machines in the classroom It is advisable to talk about simple machines before we talk about complex machines which is the topic of this video Through this lesson the students will be able to differentiate between simple and complex machines define complex machines and recognize their uses in their daily lives These activities can be done by the students in groups of 4 or 5 The focus was on highlighting what the daily life applications of complex machines are and what their relevance is in our daily life. As an introduction to the topic, a picture of bicycle was shown in the class. Upon observing the picture, we asked the students what are the different simple machines they can find in a bicycle. Typically, the answers were a lever, a wheel, or even gears. We then steered the conversation in the direction of complex machines and talked about how complex machines are essentially a combination of multiple simple machines. This discussion can be made more interesting with puzzles. For example, I am not a house, but I have mirrors and windows and seats and a roof and doors to open and close. Who am I? The answer as you might have guessed is a car. which is a very good example of complex machines and is very easily imaginable by students of class 5 the answer can be disclosed after a few attempts after this introduction we can demonstrate an activity called going gears stick the corrugated sheet on the outer side of the lid of the big container place the wire man on the cap and fix the hand of the wire man on the stick as shown Make a fan from the plastic bottle and insert the stick in it. Take the big corrugated sheet and place both the gears on it. Set it in motion as you see here. You can then ask the students which simple machines are used here. What is the function or purpose of each simple machine? We can then do an activity called the rocking man. For this we will need ice cream stick, a corrugated card sheet, a pen or a stick, small container and a wire man, some weights for example ring magnets. Stick the corrugated sheet on an ice cream stick. Add the weight of ring magnets to the ice cream stick. Also stick the wire man on another side of the ice cream stick. place the wire man with an ice cream stick on top of the container now rotate the container with the help of a pen and observe the movement of the wire man isn't it cool you can discuss with your students what kind of simple machines are present here you can also ask them what can be a substitute for magnets as weights the aim of these activities was to help students understand what complex machines are and how to identify them they started thinking about other complex machines and came up with lots of questions for example are refrigerators complex machines what are digital machines they even wanted to know what is inside a computer or a cell phone this discussion concluded with an understanding that these machines reduce human labor we can then discuss how to differentiate between simple and complex machines For this there is a very simple inquiry based activity the groups of students can walk around the school and list down all the simple and complex machines they come across when they come back to the class they can think about the machines in their homes and add them to the list after this a nice table can be made and the points can be jotted down in them this becomes a very nice hands on learning experience for the students Some more machines were discussed and classified in the class. As home assignments, following questions can be asked. What are the machines required in our daily life? What is a simple machine? 
what is a complex machine do we use machines according to the task to be carried out and the time and the effort required to do it if yes write examples for example we take a train for traveling very long distances we cannot travel such a long distance on a bicycle do these machines need maintenance why this approach of teaching complex machines is a lot of fun and demands active participation from the class the details of each activity is given in the text lesson plan the link for which is given in the description of this video please try this in your class and let us know your experience thank you for watching